wherever you are on this uh, most pleasant evening. There has been a clamour to get inside the ground tonight for a much-anticipated game. The uh, roads outside of the stadium have been bumper to bumper with traffic. The car parks are full. There is a torrent of humankind making its way from the nearby station and we expect every seat to be filled. An atmosphere of uh, great expectation and excitement. Certainly this is a very, very impressive venue, quite a sight to behold. Hungary braced for their anthem. And we rise now for the Serbian national anthem. Serbia have opted for a 4-5-1 formation, it appears, Jim. Well, it's a formation, Peter, that lends itself to good possession and control in midfield because you've got the numbers there, a higher concentration. Backing that up with enough attacking dynamism is down to managers who want to get at teams. It can be used in cautious terms too. But certainly, if you want to advance a little quicker and you have that attitude, then you can be very positive about this too. So it's away we go then. Tadic. Goodell. And the weighted pass. Goodell needed to come up with a better ball. Ah, oh, that just required a bit more oomph to reach its target. Forward it goes. Out towards the flank. Looks to drop one in. And that's been leave it clear. Out to the left it goes. And it's hoisted clear. Top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. Gets it upfield. Savage. Out wide to the right. Cuts it out. That's a throw. I think a cautious start for both teams. Mitrovic battles to win it back. No question, that's a foul. He has resisted the temptation to go to his pocket. It's just a stern lecture. Look at the defender bombing forward. And he 
just whacks it away. This game is in need of some excitement. It needs help, and it's down to the creative and striking talent to up their game and, and give this crowd something to cheer about. And it's Tadic. Hit long and direct. Oh, smart save. Shall I? Going through. Crosses in a look. Can he finish? Milivojevic gets good distance on it. Forward quickly. Oh, Serbia have a free kick. It's the talking to, I think. Yes, it is. Long and direct. Surely a shot. Looking to shoot. Tadic. And it's Mitrovic. Kolarov. Decent looking ball. Chance to shoot. Aimed in towards. Couldn't get the direction he needed. Well, plenty of moving targets to pick out in the box. Obviously increases your chances of the ball being met like that by someone. Challenge Philip Juricic. Aimed low and direct. Played into space out wide. Now it's Juricic. Oh, he's had a shot! Goal! Serbia! First blood drawn! Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front. They really commit forward in numbers too. It was all very well drilled. So we have our breakthrough. Well, just listen to the reaction. I think you can hear the approval from the support all around the stadium. Forward it goes. Over hit and out of play. Mitrovic plays it out to the wing. That's a promising ball. Savage looking to get on the end of this. Last ditch defending, but that'll do. It's a loose ball. I have to say that was an exemplary tackle. Stopped him dead in his tracks. out to the flank well, certainly caught him there it's a free kick not 
takes it away. Tries to get it forward quickly. It's half time. So there you have it, a close sport half of football, but Rafa still had its moments, and ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. I'm sure they'll be very happy with the first half performance and the scoreline. They'll definitely want to maintain their momentum now and finish the job. Serbia head into the dressing room, pleased with the thought that they have that all-important lead. Analysis to come during the break. goes and we start the second half well it's been tight Peter but I'm expecting things to to open up now and we get some free flow in football referee's given a throw Milivojevic. Cattell. Tadic. Savic. And it's Mitrovic. Oh, he's broken through. Juricic. Shall I? And back to base. Savic, aimed long and direct, over to the left, deftly done, and he just whacks it away. Now it's Goodell, Goodell goes to the cross, and it's hoisted clear. Brushed off the ball there. A mixture of good defending and indecisive passing. No progress. Forward it goes. So, Jim, what are you thinking? There's a lot of football still to be played, Peter, so ideally they need to maintain a, an attacking endeavour. Ball's loose. Who's getting there? Russell off the ball. Yeah, he's pulled him up for that challenge. The ref's been lenient here. I doubt he'll get too many more chances. Shalai plays it out to the wing. Dicks one in. And he just whacks it away. He's gone out for a throw in. The defense got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. Tadic. Now it's Tadic. Tadic to run onto it. He's left his man. Tadic. Kutel. So who's he picking out? Kutel with the cross. Shoots! Top save! That shot was travelling. Full 
way back and has booked him for the original offence. So now we're going to get those changes we have been expecting. Knocks it away. Head towards the front then. Plays a clever pass. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Hungary are definitely going about this the right way. Jim, there's not too much subtlety or sophistication about this. It really is a question of needs must. It just has to be done. Serbia are clearly looking to kill this game off. It's keeping the ball away from the other end too. for a throw. Hungary making consecutive changes here. And that's been levered clear. Keep calm and carry on. That's the job in a nutshell now. Juricic. And it's Kolarov. Nothing but a skill there. And he's whipped it in low. There's a real appetite from them to finally put this game to bed. But will they? That's a throw. And it's got through. And he's there to cut it out. Hungary are actually displaying tremendous fighting spirit. There's a real belief that they could still have a say. Late back in. Serbia just have to run down the clock. Hoists it high. Look, with time running out, they have to get the ball in the penalty box. And if it means a long punt, then so be it. They've got to give themselves a chance. Kolarov goes long. Really good feet. Juricic drilled in low. And that's that. Serbia with it by the only goal. Result, no question, the most important thing, however it came. Final score, 1-0. And there's a lot more to read into this game than just the scoreline. That's it for tonight's match, so it just remains for me to thank Jim Beglin alongside me and to wish you all a very good evening.